What up guys, SuperMetal983 here, here bringing us another album review. And this time we've got some local metalcore for you to check out. If you're into your modern style of metalcore, then this, excuse me, is definitely a one that you need to check out. But I'm going to be reviewing the debut album from Ground Culture entitled How Well Do You Really Know Yourself? This is released under Hopeless Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with Ground Culture, they're a northeast based metalcore band and they play a very modern style of metalcore with uh, taking on board influences from the likes of post hardcore and uh, a bit of alternative rock in there as well for good measure just to give it that, that catchy factor. And this is not my first exposure to the band and not the first review on this channel of the band. I reviewed the band's debut EP in 2018 which is self-titled Ground Culture. If you want to check out that review, there'll be a link down below where you can check that out. That EP is an absolutely fantastic EP and it's still something that I do listen to on a regular basis. It's just a quintessential release, if you ask me, when it comes to modern metalcore. It's got the riffs, it's got the catchy factor, and everything in it is just oh, it's just so enjoyable to listen to. I, I can't highly recommend that EP enough. So you can expect uh, that I was really excited for this debut album. The band's uh, gone on tour with the likes of uh, Crossfaith across uh, the UK and uh, played an array of great shows, including Download Festival and... Uh, I can't remember the name of the festival, but they played with uh, 30 Seconds to Mars up here in the north, uh, in the northeast. So the band's been getting themselves about and preparing for this debut album um, in due course. And when they signed to Hopeless Records and released the uh, the first single off this uh, album, which was called Life Won't Wait, which is the first one uh, on the track list, uh, I was really really hyped for this album, especially here in that single. It took on board. All the stuff that I loved about the last EP and it got us really, really hyped and they released uh, another single in due course before the album's release called Real Eyes, which in my personal opinion, was gonna, I knew was going to be one of the stronger tracks on the album and grow to become one of my favourites because it's just such a catchy song and so enjoyable to listen to. And it, excuse me. And then just before the album's release, they released a new single uh, this past I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, entitled uh, Take My Breath Away, which I was really, really uh, in love with that thing. I did a, a reaction on my Instagram, which uh, is not up there now, but yeah, it, absolutely amazing single. So I was really hyped for this album to drop, uh, which was yesterday, uh, sorry, today? Yeah, yesterday, yes, no? Today, sorry, my bad. But anyway, the album is 10 tracks and runs 39 minutes in length. And straight away, I can say this without any question or shadow of doubt, that this is one of the most enjoyable metalcore releases I have heard so far in 2020. I mean, I just love the riffs that are on this album. They're just so catchy and memorable. They really put us in mind of um, kind of a, a cross between um, architects with that modern um, lick sort of, uh, techie sort of um, approach to them, but then still has the catchy riffy factor of the likes of Cancer Bats, for example, which uh, if you've heard Cancer Bats before, you'll know their, their riffs are undeniably catchy. And I definitely feel that sort of influence on this when it comes to the guitar work. I mean, there's some really, really headbangable riffs on here as well during like the breakdowns. They're not just uh, your run-of-the-mill chug fest uh, sort of um, uh, songwriting. The best way I can describe it for the songwriting would be along the same sort of lines of While She Sleeps with their um, their more uh, you know power and prowess that they have to the songwriting and the, the guitar riffs. I mean that's the best way I can describe it. If you're definitely a fan of While She Sleeps then this is definitely a release that you need to check out in that department. Uh, the drum work as well, absolutely amazing uh, drum work on here. There's some real intricate uh, grooves in there that really grab your attention and just and I have to say though um, about the drum work the the mixing on this album is absolutely fantastic every um, uh, element of the drums just absolutely pops like right in your face and it cuts through the mix so fine the mixing work on this album is absolutely uh, remarkable if you ask me I mean uh, it's one of the it, it's one of those things that I think when um, modern metalcore comes about, the drums definitely seem to uh, uh, not pack as much of a wallop uh, 
behind the mix and you know make it um come alive you could say whereas this one definitely has that factor going for it um because uh, i mean that snare tone on here it just smack it's a smacking tone and i absolutely love the way it cuts through the mix uh very finely but very sharp as well and i just think it just makes the album express uh, express itself in a, uh, a different fashion if you know what i mean um yeah and the bass work is absolutely incredible as well i mean the bass tone on this album is very modern metalcore sounding with the whole um the, like clanky um sort of tone that like uh, crispy bark from the bass tone to really cut through the mix and really make it um it does reflect the drums uh, in a lot of way that it does um have a sense of sharpness in the mix which really um surprised me in all honesty but i really did like the bass tone on here and the way it connected the drums and the guitars in a real cohesive unit everything was there for a reason that's the way it feels when you listen to it it's not one of those like anything feels scattered or anything this is just a really refined and precise sound and release i absolutely love it and the the power from like the the cleaner sections on this album definitely scream out quality if you ask me now the vocal work is definitely something that i admired straight away from the first uh, release they definitely um did um remind me a lot of um uh, while she sleeps that like kind <clears> of <throat> powerful as if half scream sort of thing you know like a uh, sam carter of architects sort of vibe but not in the like really high-end scream that uh, Sam Carter does. There's a more mid-range screams in there, but there is still some powerful uh, mid-screams in there just in general that really uh, give a sense of emotion and aggression on this album uh, when it needs to be. But there's some more... Um, one thing I did admire about this album compared to... Uh, or admire this album more than the EP, was um, there's a lot more cleaner sections, like um, mellow vocals on here, especially towards the, the later half of the album from um, about halfway through, where it starts to mellow down and start sinking. Like, you, you've had the riff fest, and now here's some, like, more... I would say the, the start of the album kind of feels a bit more metalcore oriented, whereas the, the, the later half kind of feels a bit more post-hardcore. And then... The last two songs, Dream Like a Child and 1974, definitely feel more um, ultra-rock influence in the post-hardcore. So it's a really nice progression on this album. There's been a lot of thought and attention gone into this release, definitely. And I might as well also say there is some uh, a guest spot on this uh, album for, on Dream Like a Child by <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Philip Strand of Normandy. And I... Discovered Normandy uh, through their debut album. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called White Flag or something like that. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that album and I really enjoyed his voice. And to hear him on this album definitely uh, makes it um, definitely fit that sort of post-hardcore alternative rock sort of vibe towards the end of the album. It really um, makes it come together a lot more and I really admire that a lot. And then the last track is just an absolute blissful song. Uh, and I mean, the lyrics across uh, this album are absolutely fantastic, but I do love the lyrics towards um, On Dream Like a Child in 1974. Um, but yeah, my favourite tracks would definitely be uh, Realize, uh, Take My Breath Away, and I do really like the song uh, Blue Minds. Those three songs are definitely three of my favourites. I love this entire album. It's absolutely fantastic and definitely a proud moment being a Northeast metalhead that this album is now here and it is absolutely remarkable if you ask me. So if you're a fan, like as I said, of Why She Sleeps, Architects, um, it was the other one, Cancer Bats, or even uh, Modern uh, North Lane, then this is definitely something that you will enjoy from everything that's going on from the, from the riffs to the drums to the vocals to the lyrics. It's all there. This is a complete package when it comes to modern metalcore, if you ask me. And it's something that, since its release at midnight, I've blasted this album so many times and I just had to get in front of a camera and review for you guys. So you just need to check this out. Uh, for an overall score, I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing album and definitely one that I think is going to be up in the high-end register of my top albums this comes year-end. So keep an eye out for that when I comes about but yeah make sure you check out ground culture how well do you really know yourself releasing the hopeless records i'll leave some links down below of where you can check out this album and also where you can pick up cd copies 
make sure you support your fans at the moment during these testing times. I mean, we've got to support each other and pick up physical media. It always helps. So, yeah. I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal. And I'll see you later.